We have a game between Putin and Zelensky. Putin, first move red advantage. Zelensky, second move for black. Now, Putin starts out with the ready opening, and this is kind of a little deceptive opening. This is almost like a waiting opening. You don't telegraph what you're going to do. And so, Zelensky seeing this, okay, let's just try to play normally. And now, Putin plays the deceptive. This is called the Tennyson Gambit. Now, it seems like Zelensky has a pawn take and then maybe another take here. So, Zelensky goes for it. Now, Putin extends this unit here to counterattack, but Zelensky sees this and says, wait a minute, can't I just keep developing, keep making my position better? So Zelensky goes here. This knight protects the pawn. Now if he captures, he'll capture back. And now Zelensky has a piece deployed. Putin then seems to deploy another unit out of nowhere here. Zelensky seeing what looks like a little bit of a mistake I'm going to take a pawn. Look at this. Zelensky's up two pieces. Putin now recaptures with the bishop. For those of you who know a little bit about chess, you probably can see something deceptive. Look at this. The queens are x-raying each other. Zelensky now very, very tired of this unit in his land counterattacks. But this is the ultimate mistake. If he didn't go here, he would have two pawns protecting this crucial square where this bishop is planning to go eventually. Because of that, Putin sacrifices another unit here. It's undefended. The king has no option but to attack and capture him. Because if he doesn't, then either a queen here or a rook gets taken by this knight. So Zelensky takes the knight. And now Putin decides, because he can afford it, to sacrifice another piece here. And here is where the trap is set. Look at this discovered attack. Because the king is in check, Zelensky has to deal with this. If Zelensky moves here, or moves here, he loses the queen anyway, so he might as well capture. But now Putin captures the queen. Bam! And suddenly, out of nowhere, Putin is way ahead in this battle. But it's not over. In fact, it is far from over. Zelensky, the Ukrainians, now gathering themselves, getting more intel, getting more support from the West, decide to spring their own trap. Now, a common move that people might do is this, to counterattack the unit in your land. However, there's a more deceptive move here with this seemingly innocent move right here. Putin's troops, smelling blood, say, well, isn't this ours for the taking too? So they grab another piece. But now Zelensky has sprung a counter threat. Zelensky with an invasion into Putin's Russia goes here with a discovered attack on the queen. Putin is forced to deal with this threat. So Putin goes here and now Putin loses some troops, a lot of troops here. And now the position is essentially equalized. In the grand scheme of things, the capital Kiev definitely looks a little bit more vulnerable. And Putin can potentially castle and do a lot more things. But still, from the engine analysis, the position is pretty equal. So I'm going to stop the match here. A lot can happen still. As chess players, you guys let me know, how would you continue this game? For everyone else, whether you're into chess or not, hope you enjoy my chess channel. Sometimes it's good to think about chess from other analogies. It helps you process certain things. So I hope we have peace and I hope everyone learns to get along. If you have to have conflict, do it over chess, please. A physical chessboard. All right, guys, talk to you soon. A lot more to come.